Hey everyone, welcome back to Typical Tech Lad, where we see tech for what it is. So today we're diving into two powerhouse tablets. That's the Honor Magic Pad 2 and the Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro. I'll be comparing their design, display, speakers, performance and batteries to help you decide which one is worth your money. So let's get into it. So we'll start off with the pricing and Honor Magic Pad 2 is available in only one variant and that's 12 gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes of storage for £499.99 pence. And then the Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro comes in two variants, one 8 gigabytes RAM and 128 gigabytes storage for £599 or 12 gigabytes and 256 gigabytes storage for £699. So straight off the bat, on a Magic Pad 2 wins for being cheaper and also offering more RAM. We've got the Magic Pad 2 sitting on top. We'll check that out in a second. And then we have a USB-C cable, quick start guide and warranty card. And then of course the tablet itself. Pad 6 has Pro sitting on top. So we have the user guide and warranty notice. We have the 120 watt charging brick which can charge this tablet super fast as claimed by Xiaomi but we'll be checking out how true that claim is later on. And then finally a USB-A to USB-C charging cable with orange accents and then the tablet itself. Winner for this would be the Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro and that's because of including the charging adapter. So up front we have the 12.3 inch AMOLED display with nice slim bezels all around. Looking at a landscape, we have the volume buttons and microphones up top. That's two microphones. And then to the right, we have two speaker grills, which I believe each has two speakers in there. And then the USB-C port. The bottom is bay, nothing there. And then to the right, we have two more speaker grills and then the power slash lock button. The nine megapixel front facing camera. And then around the back, we have the 13 megapixel rear camera with flash and then another microphone in between those two. The tablet has a metal unibody design and this is the black colorway and it feels really nice and premium in the hand. Very slim too. We also have this IMAX enhanced text on the bottom here, which we'll be checking out soon. And when laying flat, the tablet has slight rocking to it, but it's not too bad. Up front, we have the 12.4 inch display with reasonably slim symmetrical bezels all around. On the right slash bottom of the tablet, depending on how you're holding it, we have the volume buttons, two microphones and the magnetic connector for the focus pen. And then on the bottom, we have two speaker grills and the USB-C port. To the left, we have nothing. And then on the top, two more speaker grills with the Dolby Atmos branding in the middle and then the power slash lock button just to the right there. There's a 32 megapixel front camera. And then turning to the back, we have an aluminium unibody casing and it feels nice and premium in the hand. Xiaomi branding in the corner with the three pin connectors for compatible accessories such as the keyboard case and the camera module with 50 megapixel and 2 megapixel cameras along with flash and the module is raised. And we can see that the camera bump means there will be some rocking when the tablet is laying flat, especially when you're pressing in the top right area. Winner here would be the Honor Magic Pad 2, slimmer bezels. It's thinner than the Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro and also includes expandable storage. So the Magic Pad 2 has a 12.3 inch AMOLED display and that's running up to 144 hertz. It has a PPI of 290 and this is my first tablet that I've actually reviewed that has an OLED display so that's quite exciting. We also get IMAX enhanced display so that's going to make all your media consumption look that extra bit better. First we'll quickly unbox the Magic Pencil 3. So we get a spare tip along with a quick start guide and warranty pod. And then the pen is a simple design, white with the honor branding on the top and a flat edge for the magnetic connection to the tablet. And it has a nice weight to it. I do like the more heavier pens. So it snaps on magnetically to the top of the tablet, pops up with a pairing request straight away. And through this connection, it'll be able to charge the pen also. You can see it attaches nicely, so it'll be good enough for a bit of shakage here and there. But obviously, if you do it too much, it's going to fall off. For YouTube, we have 4K 60fps HDR support. And the videos run absolutely fine. No problem there whatsoever. And HDR content on an OLED panel at this size looks absolutely amazing. The colors are nice and rich. There's really good contrast between the lights and darks and we can see the nice inky black darks of an OLED display and it really is a joy to watch content with such a display for me it's easily the best display out of all the tablets that I've reviewed so no matter what it is you're viewing on this tablet it's all going to look really good 
Netflix, we get wide one level one support with full HD playback and HDR is supported also. And as usual, my Rick and Morty example. Viewing angles are okay. Typical behavior of an AMOLED panel, which has the additional TFT layer. So you're going to get some shifting of color temperature at certain angles. Outside, the screen does well in brighter lighting conditions. I mean, in direct sunlight, you're obviously going to get quite a bit of problem but just generally outside the screen was more than legible so absolutely fine there because of the 1600 nits so we'll move on to the display and quick specs on there are 12.4 inch 3k lcd display with a 3 by 2 aspect ratio it has 144 hertz adaptive sync refresh rate so we'll check out the focus pen and this cost 79 pounds so we have an extra tip along with the user guide and warranty card then the focus pen itself which is in black and comes with these gold accents and looks nice and premium and it's also very light at 15 grams and then we have these three buttons on the pen so we have a spotlight button a screenshot button and the writing button and we can see the tip of the pen here attaches magnetically to the top of the tablet and stays on quite securely and that's how you pair the pen and it also is charged via this connection so i'll just snap that on and it'll connect straight away pops up with the first time and you can go through a tutorial highlighting what the pen is capable of. 4K 60fps HDR playback is supported on YouTube and runs absolutely fine. Viewing angles and it's what you would expect from an LCD display with slight shift in color temperature and the brightness dipping but nothing too drastic. Wide one level one support on Netflix along with HDR 10 and Dolby Vision support. So you'll be getting all that HDR goodness on Netflix although it won't be as good as what you would get on an OLED panel but still really nice bright vivid image. Although at extreme angles, things can seem a little bit washed up. Stick around and we'll see how the display performs under various conditions. And we'll also check out those six speakers and see what they sound like when watching content on this tablet. Outside in daylight, the tablet does suffer from reflectivity issues, but that's expected as it's a glass panel. Quite difficult with displays as they're both really good, but if I was forced to pick one, it would have to be the Honor Magic Pad 2. And that's because of the OLED display, higher peak brightness, and it has a better screen to body ratio. So the Magic Pad 2 has eight speakers in total and supports 100 degrees ultra wide sound field. If we have a look in the settings, we can enable that and from here, and then you can pick from sound style, say auto, standard, vocals, music, movie, and game. So whichever one is best suited at the time. And I'm just going to turn up the volume here and then have a listen. As they were, as soon as you load something that's a bit more processor heavy, example Core DE mobile here so I'm just gonna let that load and then I'm gonna come out of here <laughs> oh, we're gonna be a great team like Moses and his buddy who like to collect seashells I have six speakers on the Pad 6S Pro. They are Dolby Atmos tuned and I have to say I was thoroughly impressed with them. At full volume, they were literally room filling. We'll check out what options we have in the settings. So you can either pick from Dolby Atmos or Xiaomi Sound. I'm going to do most of my testing in Dolby Atmos. You can choose your graphic equalizer if you want to adjust things yourself. And then you can turn on immersive sound. So it's more like a surround sound kind of option. And just keep in mind it's high volume coming up. Unlock 17A. 
do you check out what performance is like on the phones themselves? Just going to open up a bunch of apps here so you just get an idea of how they perform. Again, very similar in my eyes. Basically. We're now here on a Magic Pad 2, offers more speakers, they are a bit louder and overall sound better, at least to me anyway. Well, under the hood of the Honor Magic Pad 2 is we're working with the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 CPU and that's paired along with the Adreno 735 GPU. We have 12 gigabytes of RAM built in which is extended by an additional 8 gigabytes with RAM Turbo by default. You get 250 gigabytes of storage. Obviously that's not expandable. We're running on Android 14 with Magic OS 8.0. The problem with Honor is that it's quite sketchy to get information on OS upgrades. I'm pretty sure the tablet will have regular security patches, but I couldn't find any information on OS upgrades. And looking at the track history, it's a bit of a hit and miss where the device is going to get an OS upgrade. It's going to take quite a while for it to reach the devices. So that's something just to take into consideration. Cores 1813 for single core and 4124 for multi score on Geekbench 6. One and two two is scored 1,305,299. So quite a high score there. 3D Mark Wildlife Stress Test, it performed quite well with a frame rate ranging from 26 to 87. So we'll have a look at that probably when we do the gaming section. And then read and write speeds are respectable with our high numbers on here too, so you can check those out. Pad Success Pro, we're working with the very capable Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 CPU along with the Adreno 740 GPU. The tablet I have is the 8GB version and comes with LP, DDRX5 and UFS 4.0 so that's good to see. It's running on Xiaomi Hyper OS uh, which is built upon Android 14 so that's the latest on there. And then you also get the option of extending the 8GB RAM up by an additional 8GB so you can get a total of 16. And then we'll check out some Benchmark scores 1922 for single score and then 5401 on multi on Geekbench 6. On Antutu, we got 1,532,157 score. On Wildlife Stress Test 3D Mark, we were working with a frame rate between 43 to 85 frames per second. And then we can see in the read and write test, the tablet managed a sequential write speed of 1.02 gigabytes and a sequential read speed of 1.95 gigabytes. Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro takes this win because it offers a better CPU and GPU, higher benchmark scores and is faster overall, but both are really good again. Keeping all the lights on, the Magic Pad 2 is the 10,050 mAh battery, so quite a large battery that supports up to 66 watt charging, which on my testing took roughly 1 hour and 20 minutes to charge it from completely flat, 0% percent to 100 so that's reasonable and quite good battery usual stuff here you can pick from different modes performance mode power saving mode or ultra power saving mode you can see i'm on 50 percent and it's claiming i've still got around 32 32 hours left from my testing it was good um if you do heavy use you'll get a day out of it and if it's more light or moderate use you'll get two slash three days easily in additional settings, you get things like smart charge, smart battery, capacity, all things to kind of help conserve the battery's health. And the usual screen on time. As you can see, I'll be doing a lot of testing with the tablet with the benchmarking apps and gaming. So my battery, even though it had dropped to half and that's still after about four or five hours of screen on time. So for the battery, we're working with a 10,000 milliamp hour battery, 9,800 milliamp if you take actual figures. It supports 120 watt hypercharge, so Xiaomi claims 100% in 35 minutes. And if we have a look at settings, we can see battery protection. You can have things like regular charging, optimized charging, so things to help protect your battery. And then we have like little indications of things that would help extend battery life. And then additional features, we have boost charging speed. So you want to turn this on if you want to get the super fast charging speeds. And then you have your usual chart and graph that shows your battery usage throughout the day. Xiaomi claims that you could charge up to 100% in 35 minutes using the 120 watt supplied charging brick. And from my testing, 0 to 50% charge took roughly 24 minutes and then 0 to 100 was roughly 45 minutes. So although that's still amazing for a 10,000 milliamp hour battery, it didn't meet the 35 minutes claimed by Xiaomi. But regardless, really good for a tablet this size. And then for PC Mark, I got 10 hours and 8 minutes. And this is with brightness set to 75%. 
and volume set to 25% as I do with all my battery tests. So reasonable score there. And battery, the Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro wins here because of its faster charging, really good. Battery life is better and it has a higher battery life score. After comparing both, the Honor Magic Pad 2 takes the lead with its better design, the OLED display and more powerful speakers which make it great for media and everyday use. That being said, the Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro is still a solid contender with its own strengths. Both are great tablets in their own right and the best choice really depends on what you prioritise. For a deeper dive into gaming, software and more, be sure to check out my dedicated reviews for each tablet. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.